support. So e4, e5, knight f3. Uh, I don't know these guys, like Jochen Hardley and Michael Jassen. Mm, no, um, I just have permission to use my stream into the Twitch. Uh, using Twitch, I can use ju just only uh, chess.com because I'm having a contract with D5. There we go. Elephant Gambit. We cover many, many uh, variations uh, in the last uh, uh, streams, guys. So we have about three lessons for this. Check out my YouTube. D4, D takes E4. Uh, this is one of the best response of white. Okay, there we go. We jump to the end game. It's six. F4. Bishop F5. Hmm. As explained in the theory section, especially on page 38. <laughs> now we're in page 61. And below knight G7. In this uh, moment, before bishop F5. Explained it. Pages before that knight G7 is more uh, precise. Move order. But he used to play a uh, bishop here. I'm going to lose all your rating now. I don't care about my rating, man. Uh, I'm also having about 2-5. Uh, so if somebody beat me on bullet, it will be terrible. <laughs> but uh, I don't care. I don't care. I'm expecting to lose too. It's it's going to be a strong tournament. And I'm, I'm hoping so. This will be great if you uh, respect the invitation and take a part in it. And also uh, price, price font is coming to the tournament too. Uh, it's not boring. Uh, by the way, end game part is uh, I can show you maybe one day uh, interesting positions of etudes, uh, and I can show you the beautiful part of the game. Like uh, maybe you think so, end game is boring, but for me, uh, when I was a child, end game was the first part what we start studying with my father. So I'm really respecting and love end games. Um, 2029, you're better than 90% of bullet players. What's up, 2029? Where's my book, Logis? <laughs> yeah, just in my eyes. I know that people don't like end games, but probably it's their fault. <laughs> I'm so always here. Hey, hey, it's again. Hey, we have a tournament with prize funds. Mr. Jingus, upcoming birthday, man. Hey, hey, weak hack. Happy to see you. So, after this move order, bishop to f4, bishop to f5, knight d2, e6 doesn't work when black has a queenside castle by check, followed by f takes e6 reply. So he doesn't need to give up a c7 pawn. Uh, position after knight c3 will be covered under the move order, knight c3, bishop takes e5. This was a little bit earlier. Okay, 92. Fan. Because of the fan, I cannot uh, go to the next page. Knight g7, bishop b5. Hmm. Uh, right. White tries to preempt, preempt knight g6, but loses a valuable time. So knight g6 is uh, going to be double attack and take back e5. So this pin uh, could help uh, to make security of the e5 pawn. e6 was possible. Could be interesting. We said castling. Castling is always useful and unpinning the knight threats, threatens knight d4 as well. So now unpinning thre threatens, of course, knight g6, e the knight d4 attacking here. c3. White prevents the threat, but waste, wastes another tempo and weakens the d3 square. So this pawn is not anymore protecting the d3 square, so this is uh, pretty weak. Hmm. Free, free, free sub, free match, or possible a free coaching session with <laughs> Andrea. Okay. Uh, wow, okay. Such a horrible opening. Why? <laughs> yeah, we have a 3 plus 2 push tournament after Hyper Bullet. You're gonna be fast and furious. 
though. C3. What prevents that? But then D3 is a pretty weak square, you know? Um, it was party. Party before the birthday. Yes. Um, no, they, they recommend King C1. Uh, what could be more flexible and uh, get rid from the pain without weakening the D3 square. There is a knight E4, bishop C4 variation. Knight D4. So King C1, Knight D4. Bishop C4, Knight G6. G5, takes e5, counterattack. But bishop takes d8, rook a takes d8. And now uh, it's a playable. It's been good to you, okay. But they used to play c3 anyway, so let me see how black can use these weak squares around and this pin. Knight g6. Black simply continues with his plan. This knight maneuver is extremely common once. The white bishop has gone to f4 in this line. Sometimes black prefaces it with h6 to avoid bishop g5 in a reply. c4 instance, game 4, Jepsen, Jensen, g5, attacking the rook. Um, rook d5. The rook may appear vulnerable here, but there is no way to catch it. So bishop c4. In the event of bishop takes e6, bishop takes e6, double the pawns, but potentially losing this one. The boyfriend of Yuri? Is also chess player? Well, what's this question, Sergei? Uh, pawn is uh, goner and f6 and rook h8 will be up next. So after capture f6 and rook d8 is the black strategy. So these double pawns doesn't really matter because the extra pawn is gonna be on the king side part of the board. So black seems to be much much better here. Uh, hand and, and brain yesterday. Okay. <laughs> But we met Grop system. We met Grop system. <laughs> Tricky question, yeah. Rude question, I could say. So, bishop d5, bishop c4, rook d5, bishop c4. Now, uh, he didn't take a5. A practical decision and the safest way to keep the advantage. I also consider the more complicated alternative. So, what's going on after rook takes e 5 Going to give up this. Bishop g4 check, f3, e takes, g takes, and rook takes g5, a good alternative is just bishop to h5, h4, fg. So in such a position, or uh, now rook takes g4, of course, uh, two question marks. Um, oh, I'm playing some music, maybe you don't hear it all the time. I'm, I'm... I, I'm having some music here. Um, okay, now rook takes g4 is a pretty weak just because of bishop e6. Fork. Knight f4 prevent that fork and still prep this. h3 is still good for black. So this position is still good for black. Activity of the knight and weak position of the white um, will allow uh, fast attacking. <laughs> this is everything what the black doesn't want. This is the order of you guys yesterday. Someone beat the father of his son. <laughs> so again, you have a temperature tonight. <laughs> you have temperature, man. So black choose to play safety with rook d7. It's very loud this music right like right now. Okay. Rook D7. E6 push. F takes. Do you hear the music? Hey Corbla, how are you doing? My squad? <laughs> we 
we don't want to play this position. By the way, tonight we have some prize fund of this tournament. Uh, Mr. Jingles uh, little little before announced it. So the prize could be like uh, merch store, or he's going to pay merch store, or lesson with me, or uh, any other preferences. He announced about um, hundred dollars uh, prize fund. So yeah, definitely this will be great. Um, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Jingles for the great uh, gifting sub. Take care to come on time because it's just 30 minutes duration and it's good to start on time. Hyper bullet 30 seconds. Go, go, go. It's gonna be a hot tournament. Afterwards, we have a blitz tournament. H3, knight g e5. There we go. It's already paid price fund. <laughs> Here's all. g5 h5 would uh, maintain a nice advantage but the next move forces the c4 bishop to vacate one of the two diagonals enabling black to improve his position further so h4 uh could be alternative now king e2 question mark question mark patrick is the new sub in the channel hello patrick how are you doing Hyper bullet, uh, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, hand pain too. So move your hands a little before the, that. Uh, do some physical exercises could could help. Uh, so can you do a blunder in a difficult position? The alternatives were bleak as well. What's main bleak as well? Like bishop e3, like bishop e2. These are our next candidates. What could hold on the position? Just get rid to uh, lose the bishop, I guess. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jingles, for the great initiative. We'll be happy. We'll be happy. <laughs> Lagging skills, yes. I even I, I remember even when I when we played with Mr. Jingles it was about eight minutes ten games about eight minutes ten games hyper bullet and my 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 hand hurts and I cannot imagine to play a thirty minutes hyper bullet it's like uh, physical skills more not chess skills. <laughs> okay so. Uh, guys, le let me check out uh, why why Kinky 2 is a huge blunder. What's going on after which move the game is over? Come on, chat, move your brain. After which move the game is over? <laughs> yes, of course. So ju just this guy, instead of playing super safety, we should be through uh, we should be two prophylaxis safety move. Rook takes D2, allowing already short of time. And they said this is the result of move number two, d5. This is elephant. e4, e5, knight f3, d5. Boom, boom, boom. Bishop takes e2, knight c 4 This could be the continuation. Bishop c1. But it's not really. Okay, I'm jumping to save up this game, elephant gambit. I think I had a different... Uh, we cover much more from elephant gambit, but it was coming out of my... PG and file in the past, and now I'm just installing it like that. Okay, jump to the next game. Game two: Peter Walker against Jonathan Rogers. Let's go to a new, 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 new. Where is the new? Huh? New analysis. I should go again here. Okay. Who's genius to play the Latvian game? She answered, Why you want to play such a. <laughs> Why don't you want a serious opening? <laughs> she was right, of course. <laughs> hey, any studies of this? You have all of them, half of else. These all studies I share with you. You can check out maybe YouTube channel uh, if you miss some of them. Um, 
You have the second prize. <laughs> About all your openings. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I have to be fair with you. Like, uh, there's some shit openings. Like, uh, maybe even elephant, including. Uh, what uh, I don't recommend this. We just take a look of interesting positions, interesting part of chess, maybe, and maybe you can ever met this uh, online. So we have to be well prepared. So, e4, e5, the next game between Peter Walker and Jonathan Rogers. Wrote a small booklet 1994 with the cheeky title winning with the elephant gambit. It is it is by far the best of the older books, but has. Uh, long being out of print. In, in his book, later articles and games, Rogers did much to work out on uh, um, elephant repertoire uh, based on um, early Bishop D6 and the present book stands on the shoulders of his work. So, we can flip. We're gonna be Rogers. We're gonna be Rogers, Knight of 3D5. D4, D takes E4, Knight takes E5. So actually it's not a real gambit just because after D5, um just because after D5 they don't choose really to take guys. So what the gambit it is, it's still pawn against central pawn, so it's not really a sacrifice. Bishop D6, Bishop C4, and there we go. The most famous ever position in Elephant Gambit. Hope so you already studied this. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> so Bishop takes E5. This was the other alternative line, of course, what we covered before. Queen H5. To not jumping to this, uh, as somebody of you said, maybe boring cat game. Queen H5. Queen E7. Keeping that, keeping that, almost. Queen takes e5. We're going to the end game without destroying of the king's head castle. This is more sneaky. Hmm. Um, by the way, probably to keep in touch with Mr. Jingus, maybe to arrange the price font, uh, you can just use Discord or uh, send him a personal message. He's the sponsor of this tournament. Giving $100, not like price font, really, but uh, it's a. Uh, it's already uh, it's already done like price font. It's not like money, but it's it's like you can uh, take a free lesson with me. You can take a free T-shirt of my merch store or something like that. So keep in touch with him. He's the boss tonight. So knight c6. This is different move order. Like how white is keeping the castling. Bishop d5. Knight g7. Bishop takes here. Bishop f5! Exclamation mark. So black doesn't really uh, hurry up to take back e5 pawn just because losing b7. Uh, bishop takes f5, knight takes f5. Castle, castle. You want real money? <laughs> if Sir Han take a, take a price, it's okay for me if Mr. Jingles uh, pay him. Uh, he doesn't need a free lesson. I know this very well. <laughs> Only if Sir Han won the price. Any price. I'm gonna push Mr. Jingles to pay him. <laughs> I want prizes, not money. <laughs> wow, Patrick, that's awesome. You, you can uh, you can win uh, something from the merch store. You can check out this merch store of me. You can win some t-shirt, pullover, whatever you can win. F4. Could be exchange. <laughs> like exchange sacrifice. Knight CD4 attacking C2. Hmm. Such a crazy gambit. <laughs> Even ta uh, you, you can ask Logis, he ordered tonight Elephant Gambit. 30 more minutes to the tournament, guys. Please feel free to join. Feel free to share with you, all your friends. It's gonna be just 30 minutes. Amazing tournament. For people to like you. <laughs> okay. Even tough, uh, this uh, turns out well in the game. It could have been punished if White had played more accurately. 
Uh, okay, D8 is a decent alternative. Little before knight D4. G4, such a crazy attacking. Knight FD4, knight A3. Then boom, G5, breakthrough. So they talk about this variation. Okay, D8, G4, knight here, knight E3. And then boom, breakthrough. Try to attack the basic weakness to destroy the pawn structure in the center. <clears throat> Oh, you have no PayPal, but uh, don't you have, uh, let's say, Western Union or another another paying platform really in your uh, country? There are many. There is a Wise, there is a Screw, there is a, <laughs> uh, a Revolut. Yeah, there are many uh, paying platforms. Yeah, I got Larry Latte t-shirt for free just because they mess up, so don't worry. But uh, after, afterwards, they've been fast with my real t-shirts. <laughs> so, uh, he chose to play this knight. To d4, knight a3, rook a d8. h5 stab stabilizes, stabilizes like preventive of g4, the knight on f5. Although c3, knight e6, c3, knight e6, knight c2. Uh, still favors white. Okay, king f2. Well, bring the king to the center probably because he got a current problem with the bishop. Current problem with the bishop. Bishop e3 after g5. Yeah, Wagoner, but uh, yeah, they don't have continuation here of the variation. Uh, yeah, Logis uh, manipulate completely the. Uh, <laughs> You can play three moves in 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, lots of new strategies. I have a big lag. Are you sure? The king of two. Uh, it's kind of interesting move. F6. C3. Knight E6. He takes, rook takes. Yes, guys, black is still pawned down, but uh, looks like maybe there is some compensation about, like, F-file, D-file is opened under our control. B5, B4, uh, C92. I'm not sure, Zlatch, it's uh, pretty, pretty slow. I have no strategy in Hyper Bullet. I told you I have experience losing games from uh, 1 6 or 1 7 rated players. I think 30 minutes is even too much for me. So I even don't expect to win the tournament if um, there's some uh, Hyper Bullet genius in the chat. <laughs> uh, G4. Knight H6. Now White's uh, King Side is under pressure, definitely. Uh, he buckles immediately, so that's gonna be under two times attack. This one time attacks, of course. Uh, he put g5. g5 is a mistake, so black, black simple capture back. Oh, by the way, maybe it's crystal clear for me, but what about you guys? What's going on after king uh, g3? Why, why, why didn't uh, continue with the king g3? What is the winning continuation here? Oh, Logis is flagging you. Yes, of course. Uh, he's using the uh... line with channel points yesterday. <laughs> he's using two seconds through. Logis is fast. Yeah, rook d3, just eliminate the rook and then boom. Uh... If rook f3, we just eliminate the rook and... Uh... Actually, this is not really winning now. It's not really winning a pawn. No. Maybe... Uh... After rook f3, we've got... Oh, we've got maybe such a kind of tactic like bishop takes f3. Uh, I, like knight takes f4 will keep still this, is still underpin. Wow, so complicated. 
And maybe after bishop takes, we can eliminate the rook and then boom, push and take back a bishop. Okay, take back the pawn. So it's interesting continuation, uh, but uh, it was uh, probably more playable than G G5. G5 is uh, now G5 is terrible blunder. Uh, Bishop E3. What goes from bad to worse? So knight G4, King E2. If you cannot figure out, uh, if you if you're not uh, well coordinating your pieces, guys. Actually, it doesn't matter the opening part. So you can simply lose your middle game uh, position. Like mess up, like blunder, like uh, choosing a bad strategy, like uh, moving uh, the king 100 times around. Boom, 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 zigzag. Um, you're gonna go in trouble, definitely. Rook g6. Rook h3. Rook d3. H4. And what is the move? What um, could be very, very powerful and preparing um, maybe unstoppable checkmate? What, what do you think, guys? Add. There is add. I don't see add. Think in the hill. Yeah, th th this could be winning. H5? Uh, H5 I can simple take. This rook gonna be under attack, no? Also H5 I can I can simple bring my rook here. What will be the mating pattern? How we can create a mating pattern? Also recommendation for the upcoming bullet. What is starting in about uh, 23 minutes? And it's good to be part of my fan club, guys. Uh, to take a part in it. Of tournaments, uh, first heating with hyper bullet with the price fault, what is fixed, um, in general, no money, but you can get your prize like uh, getting a free lesson or free t shirt or whatever you deserve. <laughs> okay, Rook G1 by White's Post, Knight F6, perfect, Knight F6, like followed by this, uh, yeah, Rook H3, no, but. Uh, okay, knight f6, and what's going on after rook g1, though? Oh, yeah, Wagner already is fast and furious! Wagner won! Very well, Wagner. Three games out of Elephant, we keep going. You see how Elephant finish when White cannot figure out, cannot organize his pieces correct, even with extra pawn, there is a boom after boom, yes! Okay, game number three. We look at uh, all the time the black perspective because more or less uh, elephant gambit. Uh, you can just uh, play for the black side, yeah. Black choose to play elephant gambit. Hmm. <laughs> boom, 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 sir Charles. Try it, try it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next game belong. Oh, by the way, did, did you take a look how do do the beat Karakin tonight? Um, such a surprise of the tournament, but I, I guess Carlson did too much push-ups against Dura. Carlson did too much push-ups against Dura. Very often he he make too much push-ups against others until until now this system was working, but this guy uh just lose from uh. From completely even position, so yeah, makes no sense. Too much push-ups, too much push-ups of Karas and about Karyak, yeah, also he, he play he play very well against him too. Uh, game number three. I just saw similar um, um, similar name like uh, some Poland, maybe Jersey Shishka to do too much S Z S Z S Z. <laughs> Zizka, Jersey Zizka against Georgi Halas. It could be Hungarian or Poland name. They, they have such a shit uh, alphabet. Okay. Um, Indian player 2 3. Oh! In 30 seconds, Arena. Indian player with 2 3. I'm gonna leave the tournament. 
Okay, so guys, feel free to join on time. We have about 20 more minutes. Let's go. And then we have 3 plus 2 arena, but 960. non standard chess. Okay, uh, E4, E5. Let's start. Game number 3 for tonight. This bishop D6. E4. We have the same position. Same, same, same. In each five, better move order, keeping the castling as we discussed that already. Boom, boom, boom. Simplify. Knight c6, bishop f4. There we go, the basic position. A g7, e6. We jump to the mistake of white as usual. E6. Palace is like upcoming birthday. Eight overs. It's like Hungarian. Yeah, probably could be like Hungarian. Oh, thank you, Mr. Genius, for the Gyokyu gifting sub. Wow, insane. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Feel free to join this tournament uh, and uh, you can win some prize announced by Mr. Jingles. Uh, you are welcome. <laughs> so, we have first Hyperbull and then we have 963 plus 2 Arena tournament. E6 is missing. The aim of the white tusk is to open the center for his bishops. He gives up the pawn e5 to double black's pawns and recons on winning c7. Of course, this cover attack. There we go. In the game, black uh, demonstrates the downside of this approach as the knights quickly dominate in the center. Bishop takes e6, bishop takes e6, pawn takes e6, uh, c3. First, uh, he doesn't wish to allow this knight's activity. The alternatives pr promise white little castle, knight e5, bishop g3, knight e4. So, guys, if you give up some weak squares like that, if you give access to them, there is aggressive attacking like that, which is not really pleasant. c3, very important. Uh, oh, also bishop takes c7, um, reaching uh, this position, like uh, move the bishop out, and one more time, knight d4, gonna be double attack. Book, we have books, not book. We have many, many books, one. <laughs> we have books, two. We have general books, <laughs> recommendations on English. Hmm. Plural, yeah, because they're many. <laughs> I already pasted here. Yeah. So c3, very important move. Knight to d5, still attacking, counter attacking, active defense move because protecting c7 and attacking the bishop on f4. Adrian does everything to rape chess. Wait, why? I like Bullet, man. I like Bullet and uh, I like Classical Chess. I, I'm not a huge fan of Blitz, but I try to improve myself. And I hate Rapid. Thank you, Nasu Fendi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now, we are still going through Elephant, but we have 15 more minutes to the tournament. Check out, uh, clicking on the link, um, when it starts on. <laughs> we have this comment move. I think uh, somebody created because of Lucky Freedom too. I'm not confident that I'm gonna win the tournament. By by the way, guys, I, I'm I'm bad in hyper. I'm I'm good in bullet, but I'm bad in hyper. Okay, so knight d5, uh, bishop g3. Queenside castling. Looks like now this, this is gonna be safety. Uh, knight a3, e3. Hmm. Oh, bli oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't compare online by OTB. On OTB, I like bullet. I, I love, I love bullet. I love uh, blitz. I, I like, I like fast chess on OTB. I like it. I love three plus two. I love uh, three minutes. OTB, I like it. I love it. Mr. Tail Bombastic, I am fantastic. <laughs> bully, bully, bully. Um, yeah, Tail disappear again. I'm worried about him. What is this? What is this? What is this? I'm the text page. Um, 
Bullet the OTB is impossible. Why? It's possible. We play friendly. <laughs> we play friendly. I like it eh, everywhere. Char charge. E3. Charge. <laughs> this is uh, written in the book. Charge. <laughs> so, White Tusk di didn't make a dent in Black's position, but now he faces the real task, which spells disaster. H5. Um. H5 was more reasonable. H5 novelty, H4, and then Rook H6. Look at this maneuver of the Rook. Rook H6. Covering this and activate the Rook in a very, very um, comfortable way. Okay, let's go to the E3 pushing. F3. I gotta burn you. That stare in OTB both of it. In OTB I'm good. In online I'm not so good, yeah. F3, E5, push, 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 push. Don't forget about pushing. Pushing save up time. Uh keep your king's safety out of checks. Many many tricks in hyper bullet guys. Push, push, push. Create a fast uh, mating cheap tricks. <laughs> uh dirty knight checks. Keep more pieces on the board. Check, 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 and flag your opponent. Easy, easy, easy strategy. Okay, a position to warm the heart of every elephant player. Black is dominating and the white gets no chances. <laughs> tricks for kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly, but 30 seconds is tri tricks for kids, why not? Uh, Rook F1. Boom, step on his neck. There we go. Rook D2. It's C4. Rook takes g2. Rook h1. Rook e2. Knight takes e5. Mystic. In a difficult position, white commits a tactical mystic. Why this is tactical mystic? What's going on here? If somebody can find out benefits out of this position, let me know. We could try 15 seconds. But one time I, I look at, I think, Noroditsky play. I'm not sure if it was 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Uh, Noroditsky played 200 games. 200 games into the bu bullet or hyper bullet. I'm not sure. Hey, John Twitch, feel free to join the tournament. We don't have so much time. We have about uh, 12 minutes to the tournament starts on. It's gonna be 30 minutes. Believe me, this is very, very tiring uh, for 30 seconds. Uh, even 10 games, I got tired. About 30 minutes, I'm not sure. The weather? The weather is about 40 today, during the day. Probably now is about 30. But I'm lucky I have a fan in front of me. <laughs> FXC5, root takes root, then 9d3. Wait, you mean to lose the rook? I think uh, you mess up the move order, sir, Sir Hain. Sir, Sir Han Solo. <laughs> Han Solo. Liches. Why, why bullet is easier in Liches? I'm not sure. Bullet is bullet. 40 is too much. Rook takes root, knight takes it. There we go, Wagner. Wagner, boom. Boom, 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 double attack. Easy, 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 simple chess. Sir, so, Han Solo. I uh, couldn't find out the variation. Check out the move order, Sir so, Han Solo. Uh, Elephant Gambit, there we go. I think we have time for one more game and drink water because during the tournament, I believe you will not have time for bathroom and water. So, uh, take care, guys. <laughs> One more game and we jump to the elephant, uh, to the elephant, to the... <laughs>
Upcoming birthday, birthday party, Mr. Jingles! 10 more minutes, I feel exciting. I'm shaking already. I'm shaking. You're lazy to write down the all. <laughs> the all the line, okay. You're lazy. Game number four between Svent Jepsen and Michael Jensen again. Set up. Load. Insane YouTube content. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna have time for talking so much, by the way. <laughs> Just by the way. Flip the board. Again, Mr. Jensen. My, 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 Michael Jensen or Jensen. In this game, White outrated Black by more than 300 points. In the previous encounter between the two players, White had uh, won after home cooking a novelty in From's Gambit. On move 25, when White played e4, it was a uh, given that he had something nasty prepared in the Marshall attack. Uh, it's out of Rui Lopez, Marshall attack. Um, Fortunately, Michael uh, had decided to play his first game with the Elephant Gambit. The idea came from the German magazine Kaiser, Kaiser, which had featured an article on the Gambit by Fidemaster Jonathan Rogers, an elephant specialist. Previous Michael always told the elephant to be the poor cousin of the more exciting Latvian Gambit. Latvian Gambit! <laughs> but Rogers made a Compelling uh, case. This began Michael's long-term love affair with the elephant. For a while, he abandoned it in favor of a inferior animal, the Sicilian dragon, but he kept coming back. Just don't blunder the mouse. Yeah, sometimes mouse, uh, you, you can divorce with the mouse, you know, during the bullet, uh, during the hyper bullet. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Last game. And jump to the Hyper Bullet. Knight of 3d5. Hope so, Mr. Jingles is still here. <laughs> Knight takes e5. Keep in touch with him after the tournament, guys. He is the great sponsor of this tournament. We gonna celebrate his upcoming birthday. On 8th of August. Lion. We have a lion in the Twitch chat. Mr. Jingles. Really? The list of players? Really? That's super strange. Okay, this position is already familiar to all of you guys. <laughs> Game number four. A G7. This time no E6. Bishop B5. Like the game before. Bishop D7. In a later rapid game between the same opponents, Black uh, tried for more with uh, Castle, but after a 93, he should have played Rook D8 instead of Bishop F5. Ah, the other route to d8. So now, knight c3. This position could also arise from the move order knight c3, bishop takes e5, d takes e5. When you said castle, exclamation mark. Oh, a novelty at, at the time. When you said castle 2. <gasps> Gyokyo is here and he has a more rating than me! It's impossible! It's impossible! I told you I have the feeling that maybe I cannot... I cannot... <laughs> I cannot uh, win the tournament, I told you. you. You're gonna play only one game? Oh, thanks God, thanks. <laughs> wow! Wow! Gyokyo! Don't wanna uh, uh, take a t-shirt out of the fan club? That's pity, that's pity. He could be the winner. 13 players, we start in 6 minutes. Don't worry, some people gonna join, I'm sure. Uh, okay, let's let's make something like also general chat. I'm gonna announce it in the general chat. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Let's uh, announce it here also. Uh, let's announce it in the announcements too. And I'm gonna announce it also in Discord. Hope a bit more people can find out. It's a better channel too. Here we go. Okay, so Queenside Castle against Queenside Castle H6. Knight takes E4. Um. Hmm. 
Sir Hain, run away from Hyper Bullet. Oh my god. Guys, what's your scary from losing points? I'm not. I'm not. I can lose. One more games. Let's see. E5. Bishop takes, rook takes. This is where we pick up from variation uh, B121, which ended on page 46. Great. Knight C5. Somebody is farming this court. Pirinsko, svežu planinata. Gummy bears. Check out this song. Rook takes e1. Rook takes e1, b6. Knight e3. Looks like pretty symmetrical. But probably, why not, guys? Why not to solve your opening problems just by this gambit, elephant gambit? Plus, get unlimited skips, even on mobile. Step into premium and get one month free. You sell on that king e4. I have preferred crazy tactical melees at the time. So this dry end game, dry end game, uh, with only a few pieces. So it wasn't exactly a dream position. In getting to this position, one made sure there were no such opportunities to create a mess. Oh, I have to hurry up to finish this game because we start just in three minutes. F497. Feel free to join. Feel free to join. <laughs> okay. All this Discord wake you up. I muted, so I don't have it. Let's check out what's going on in this dry end game. Uh, which piece is stronger? What do you think so, guys? I have the feeling that Knight here is more flexible. Yeah, position is all open, but he generated good outpost. So knight here looks like more flexible. G4 of course don't uh, give him opportunity to open up the bishop. Fix the position. Fixing. Weak pawn now. Xc4. Uh, push. Such a sacrifice. And then knight takes c3. Uh, king c4. And it's not a huge surprise by... Uh, Oh no, he just play. Oh, if he take, there is a fork. Oh my god, of course he would not take. Bishop c5. <laughs> uh, Bishop c5 and the game finished draw. Yes. 